This movie is all about how to color your castles. Now let's pretend that I didn't actually color that castle already. Let's pretend it's still blank. The first thing you're going to do is outline your entire project. So you're going to want to use both a thick and a thin sharpie. Thick are good for bigger areas, the out, like the outside of your castle, the moat. The skinny one's good for all the teeny tiny details. This is really going to make it stand out. We'll be using crayons, and crayons really cover up pencils. So it's really best today if you use um, Sharpie to outline your entire project. So here you can see I was doing thin, and then I decided, mm, you know what? I think I'm going to go with thick for that area to make it stand out a little bit more. Little details like my dragon and the rose vines and things like that, I would definitely do with my skinny Sharpie, though. Now that I've finished outlining, it's time for me to start coloring. To color, we're going to use these really fun thing called texture plates. So to start, I'm going to slide a texture plate underneath for my grass. And you want to use those naked crayons, the ones without any wrappers on them. And you can color with the tip or the side. The tip is better to color in small areas, but you can use the side if you have a really big area. But as you can see, since the texture plate is underneath my paper, when I color, it actually makes a really neat texture on my paper. So I'm going to want to use those texture plates for things like grass, my castle walls, water, anything that if you felt it in real life, it wouldn't be smooth. So I'm going to use my texture plates for all those different areas. Now notice how carefully I'm coloring. I am really, really taking my time to make sure that I fill in every single white space. I'm coloring so carefully inside the lines, filling my whole paper. You guys are not first grade artists anymore. I expect your best, best, best level of coloring. Make sure you're filling in the whole thing. I'm not going to accept a project that's not fully, fully colored in. So now that I'm almost done with my grass, I can move on to other areas using different colors, different texture plates, and not every area you're going to want to use a texture plate with. Things like the sky or little teeny tiny details, you're probably just going to want to use a crayon. And that's fine, just plain with nothing underneath. So like right now when I'm coloring my dragon, there's no texture plate underneath. It's just like normal. Same with the sky. But notice I'm not leaving any white spaces except for my clouds, which need to be white. You also notice that I colored a little bit darker on one half of each tower. That makes it look a little rounded. It gives it kind of a shadow. That's a fun little touch that you can do um, if you want to make your towers look kind of round. <laughs> 